Hi, my name's Emma Hunter. I'm a senior reliability engineer for the Mercedes AMG Petronas Formula One team. I would summarize my job role as having the opportunity to work across all areas of the team, both at the factory and at the track, being able to work with a multitude of people at different levels across the company in order to try and achieve the best and highest level of reliability that we can do. In my world, just having one failure isn't good enough. We need to be 100% reliable across every aspect of the company to ensure that once those two cars go out on track, and even when they're being tested in the factory, that there will be no delays and that they will always get to the finish line. My day-to-day -day responsibilities vary depending on the time of year and whether I am at the factory or at the track. So I'm quite fortunate in my role that I consider myself to be part-time race team and part-time factory. So I cover between five or six races a year. When I'm at the track, there's obviously a very defined schedule, whether it's setup days on Wednesday and Thursday, where I try to take the opportunity to get to know the car as much as possible. Although the big changes get communicated and everyone across the world sees them very quickly, there's also lots of small changes that we make every event to the car in order to fix previous faults or just to bring new parts to the car. Once the cars get running, there's all sorts of possibilities for finding new faults or things not running quite as we expect them to. So I work incredibly closely with the team of mechanics on both sides of the garage because they are my best sources of information and also my best early warning signal for if something's starting to go wrong because they know the car inside out and as much as I can cast my eyes over it and see kind of the big scheme changes that we've made, they're really good at picking up kind of the finer details. So anytime a mechanic finds an issue or anytime an engineer flags a problem in data, I will do my best to investigate it as much as possible at the track because I am kind of the eyes and ears of whoever the designer was that's responsible for that part. I also take a lot of photographs and a lot of videos and try to give them everything that they need in order to start trying to resolve the problem as quickly as possible. When I am at the factory, Again, it depends on the, the time of year and what else we have going on. There's definitely not a quiet time for reliability. We don't get to the winter and stop. We will already be looking at next year's car, trying to spot any potential issues that there may be in how components are interfacing across different design groups. When parts come back from a race, even if I haven't been at that particular race, we tend to review anything that's had a big problem with it. We go down and we work with Build and the technicians who work there. Again, they are hands-on with these components, day in, day out. They will notice if something is a little bit wrong or if it's a little bit different. So we need to make sure all of our facilities are as 100% reliable as our car is. I was born in London, but moved down to Devon when I was about six months old. I originally wanted to be a vet. So I studied biology, chemistry and physics, there was no maths in there. When I decided on the alternative, super easy career of getting into Formula One, I took a foundation of engineering degree at Brunel, which was doing maths, further maths, physics, all the extra subjects I needed in about seven months. And I graduated from that into their BEng course of automotive and motorsport engineering, also working on the Formula student team. I have worked with the team since December 2014. They were straight off the back of a championship win. I came from a team that had never scored a point. There was expectation and challenge of making sure that whichever car came out for 2015 was going to be just as good as what had run in 2014. My favourite part of my job has to be coming trackside because seeing the car going out of the garage and finishing every lap of the race is the ultimate aim of reliability. We want that car to be as reliable as possible whilst also being as fast as possible or as close to the edge of performance as possible. The most challenging part of my job is having to go up to designers who have spent maybe months and a lot of late nights working on a particular part or assembly and letting them know that unfortunately it's not working as expected, it's gone wrong, there's been a fault with it. Sometimes I'm delivering them back their component in several pieces in a plastic bag. No one really wants to see reliability coming over to their desk. But ultimately, once they get over the disappointment, they know that we're going to be there to try and support them and make sure that the next iteration of that part is going to be indestructible.